Oh, hello. This is Tak Chong from Walk with Tak. And welcome to my YouTube channel. And if you'd like to eat healthier through home cooking, uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I designed my uh, fast cooking system in such a way that it could be highly flexible and it also uh, could be very convenient in creating meals, not for just one or two people, but also for a dinner party anytime you want. In this video, what I would like to do is to show you how to cook a four dish meal for six people in less than an hour. Uh, I have done that many times in the past, but I want to show you how one of my students did this uh, based on uh, my fast cooking system. For this video, uh, I will call him Iwado. Uh, Iwado was in one of my classes probably uh, when I first started. And uh, he was one of my earliest adopter of the fast cooking system. Uh, he now has been using my fast cooking system over two years. And he recently uh, called me and told me about something he did, which I thought would be a very good example for me to show you in this video. Uh, Iwado uh, is in his early 30s, and he lives in Portland, Oregon with his uh, fiance. He loves the outdoor and he loves nature. And every year he will go hunting for chanterelle mushrooms. And he has shown me pictures of uh, the chanterelle mushrooms uh, in the wild. They are really quite amazing. They are a kind of an orange to white color mushroom. Uh, the big season of the chanterelle mushroom in Oregon is sometime between uh, early September to late September. And the mushroom usually bloom when there is a lot of rain, and that really spurs their growth. Uh, during the last year's season, uh, Iwado went into the wood, and he collected a whole bunch of the chanterelle mushroom. Uh, so he decided that he's going to uh, make a dinner for some of his friends. So he invited four people to come to dinner. Uh, they decided they're going to have a dinner party uh, on a Friday evening uh, after they get off from work. Uh, because this is the only time uh, where the other two couples are also three. Uh, now Iwado has been getting really quite good uh, at my fast cooking system. Uh, he has been uh, great in the advanced prepping. He had everything prepped in the beginning of the week. So when he's ready to cook, he can cook really quickly. And he's very efficient in stir fry. And he also has been used my template based cooking. And then on top of that, he's become a really good flavor chaser in finding the type of flavor that he would like in his food. Uh, for most of the evening, uh, Iwado and uh, uh, his fiancée Susan uh, usually cook together, and they usually put in less than about 30 minutes to cook their meal. Uh, they really enjoy working together uh, in the kitchen, and that makes things much more efficient and go faster. And they always use the time uh, during cooking to uh, catch up of their days. Uh, however, you, Iwado told me that for uh, this particular evening, uh, because uh, uh, she has to work late, so uh, Iwado is going to cook the dinner himself. Uh, Iwado told me that uh, he is going to uh, cook the chanterelle mushroom in three of the four dishes. The first dish will be a, a vegetable dish with broccoli, carrot, and onion. And the second dish will be a chicken dish, uh, which also with uh, onion and carrot. And the last dish she's going to cook with an uh, egg. And the fourth dish he's going to cook is a shrimp dish with scallions. Uh, the reason for him to design uh, this particular uh, menu is partly because of the template that he knows how to do them. Uh, he, you, he's going to use a vegetable stir fry template, and he's going to use a chicken stir fry template, and then he's going to use an egg stir fry template. And he knows the chanterelle mushroom will work very well in this template because in the past he has used this template with uh, portobello mushroom. Uh, Iwano has uh, invited uh, uh, their friends to arrive at the apartment uh, around uh, 6.30 and they plan to start eating at 7 o'clock. So Iwano planned to uh, start cooking around 6 o'clock. So when the guests arrive, they can uh, join him in the kitchen and uh, they can socialize with uh, Susan while Iwano finish cooking the rest of the dishes. Uh, Iwado told me that uh, everything turned out to be excellent. Uh, in fact, he uh, sent me pictures of the dishes that he has cooked, and they look fabulous. Uh, he told me that he uh, got home from work around uh, quarter to six, and he walked into the kitchen at precisely 6 p.m. And by 7 p.m., the dinner was served on the table. 
uh, he said uh, his guest was very impressed how quickly he can produce such an extraordinary meal. Uh, in fact, he told me that he was very impressed himself. Uh, I really enjoy listening to uh, Iwado's story, so I decided uh, I'm going to try to reproduce what he has done. So I'm going to make a four-course dinner at home. Uh, for me, it was a great opportunity uh, because recently my friend gave me some uh, maitake mushroom, which I have uh, discussed in another video, which you can take a look at it. So I'm going to uh, substitute the chanterelle mushroom with the maitake mushroom in two of the dishes, except the egg dishes, I'm going to use portobello mushroom because I ran out of uh, maitake mushroom. Uh, in addition to making substitution for the uh, chanterelle mushroom, I also make uh, some other minor substitutions based on what I have in prep in my refrigerator. Uh, since this dish is a demonstration of the principle, I'm not going to show you the specific steps of how to cook this dish, but I will uh, post videos on the, some of these dishes later on. Uh, in my case, I told my wife that uh, I'm going to uh, start cooking at 5 o'clock and uh, she should time me whether I will have dinner ready on the table by 6 o'clock. So okay, the first thing I'm going to do when I walk into the kitchen is that I'm going to thaw out the meat that I need for this meal. Uh, for the chicken, I have already some of them sliced and prepped. So all I need to do is to take them out and put them in a bowl of uh, water and they will be thawed in about 10 minutes. Uh, the shrimp that I have uh, have been individually frozen when I purchased them, so it, that is very easy. All I have to do is to put them in a bowl of warm water. Again, they should fall out in about 5 to 10 minutes. Uh, for the vegetables, I take a look at uh, what I have. Now, I already have broccoli prepped, and I also have carrot prepped as well. Uh, in addition, I also find some scallion that I also chop up uh, in the beginning of the week. Uh, for the mushroom, I found some uh, maitake mushroom as well as some uh, white button mushroom. They also have been prepped. Uh, so the only thing I really uh, need to prep is some onion. So I took some uh, red onion from the refrigerator and I cut them into thin slices. Uh, so in about less than uh, 5 minutes, I have everything pretty much well organized and ready to go. Uh, so I start to get things organized in the kitchen. Uh, I get out my wok and I get out all my seasoning that I need and I have them arranged on the counter. Uh, by this time, I look at the clock. It is around uh, 10 minutes after 5. So I know I still have plenty of time and I decided I'm going to set up the table as well. Uh, and then I went over uh, take a look in the sink. Uh, I noticed that the shrimps had already been thawed. So I took the shrimp out of the sink. Uh, I drained the shrimp. Uh, as much water from it as possible uh, and then I put them on a cutting board and I cut the shrimp into the size of the tip of the index fingers. Uh, by that time, the chicken has also been thawed, so uh, I transfer them into a plastic container. Uh, I then add cornstarch to both the shrimp and the chicken and ready them uh, to be cooked. Uh, I decided to cook the egg dish first because I can spot season the wok right in the beginning to make sure that the egg do not stick to the surface of the wok. As you can see, the egg dish took very little time to cook. In fact, it is done in less than 3 minutes. Uh, I took the wok to the sink and with a few uh, brush using my wok brush, I got the wok pretty well clean. Uh, I next then cooked the uh, broccoli dish with uh, the uh, maitake mushroom, uh, carrot, and onion. Again, uh, this dish only takes about two to three minutes to cook. Uh, the next dish I'm going to cook uh, is the chicken dish with the maitake mushroom. And I'm not going to wash the wok. I'm just going to go directly uh, because uh, the flavor from the vegetable is very mild. It will not affect the flavor of this dish. Again, as you can tell, uh, this dish is very fast to cook. I was able to finish this dish in about three and a half minutes. Again, the wok looks pretty good. There's not much ramen left in the dish. So the final dish I'm going to cook is the uh, shrimp. Uh, so by the time when I finished cooking all this dish, I look at the clock. It was about 15 minutes to 6 o'clock. Uh, I look at the time when I first start cooking the dish. It was about 20 minutes after 5. So altogether, it took about 25 minutes to cook these four dishes. So as you can tell, by using my fast cooking system uh, with advanced prepping, stir frying, template-based cooking, and lastly flavor chasing, uh, you can create a four-course meal uh, in 
very little time and effort. Uh, as you can tell, uh, advanced prepping uh, set the stage uh, for the execution of uh, cooking this meal. Uh, by having everything ready in your fingertips, you will be able to cook this dish really quickly. And furthermore, by using uh, template-based cooking, uh, you don't really have to worry about recipes. You can just go ahead and cook because you already have all the steps in your head. And finally, through flavor chasing, you already have the experience of knowing what the dish is going to be taste like. So you almost have a guarantee that it's going to turn out good. Uh, I hope this video, uh, which is not a step-by-step -step video, but will give you a general idea of what it is like to plan a meal for a, a dinner party for six people and how you could do it in very short amount of time if you use the fast cooking system. Uh, I hope you will want to join me and subscribe to my YouTube channel uh, if you want to uh, make food healthier uh, in your diet uh, through home cooking. If you enjoy uh, this video, uh, please click the like icon below because this will help me to expand my audience base. Uh, thank you for watching. See you next time.